I'm Katie Bresak. Welcome! If you're new to my weekly health tips, so happy you're here. I'm a board certified health coach, holistic nutritionist, and I specialize in women's hormonal health. So today we're going to talk about cleanses. Are they good for your hormones or not so good for your hormones? It's spring, officially, but depending on where you live, it might not actually feel that warm. So I'm going to kind of share with you some tips to help your body feel more energized as we transition from the cool winter months to more warmer spring sunny months. So cleanses. Okay. So first things first is a little bit complicated of a topic because I don't know you personally. I'm not really sure what your health goals are, what you've been doing, what you've been eating, how you move your body. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that I believe in a really personalized nutritional approach to you and your health. One diet, one movement, one thing does not fit all. So please take what I'm sharing with you as ideas to help you. Everything that I'm going to share with you will help you no matter where you are with your body in your life. But also know that there's more that you can do to feel better in your body. And if you have any questions at all, you can definitely reach out to me at any time and we can chat about what that might look like. So cleanses. It's the springtime. You know, right now on social media, spring cleanses are trending and I tend to get a lot of questions when things start trending on social media. So, you know, most of the time we think of cleanses, we think of Beyonce, the master cleanse, where she did that and lost a bunch of weight. Or we think about juice cleanses where you could do it for like three, five, or seven days. Now the thing is with hormones, you want to be mindful that you're eating to support your hormones any time of the year, any season of the year. And what that looks like is having healthy protein, healthy fats, healthy carbs, and tons of fiber at every single meal to help best support your body and your hormones. So as you can notice, you know, juices aren't really going to help support your body that much. They will maybe help you lose a pound or two, but at the end of the day, it's gonna really going to disrupt your hormones, disrupt your metabolism, and those are two things that are very delicate in our body that we want to continuously support. So what I really believe in first is looking at what you're eating right now and what may or may not be helping you feel as good as you want to feel. So a lot of things that make us feel heavy and weighed down are a lot of sugars, a lot of extra gluten, a lot of artificial flavors and colors, soy, dairy, sometimes peanuts. All of these things can actually help your body. Oh, corn is another one, but those things kind of like disrupt your hormones, the delicate balance, they can upset digestion. And the thing is that they're in like everything that we're eating. So when we have that buildup in our body, it can cause us to feel bloated and just really lethargic. So you want to kind of first look at what are you actually eating and what can you kind of like eat less of that might be causing your body to not feel good. Then you want to think about what you can add in. You want to eat tons more greens, especially now that it's springtime. Drink water with lemon, have apple cider vinegar at night to help your liver digest over the evening while you're sleeping. Some other things that are really good, I love adding in parsley and cilantro to salads. I really started getting into this a little bit more because my body doesn't really like these tastes of foods, but they really help detox and kind of move the uh, estrogen out of your body. Another thing that I love are broccoli sprouts. They're in the sprout section in your grocery store and these are amazing to help move estrogen out of the body a little bit more too. So the whole idea with hormonal cleanses is to add foods in that help kind of move the hormones faster through the body so you can eliminate the estrogen more rather than have that build up which can cause a lot of bloating, a lot of irregular periods, and a lot of hormonal imbalances. So those are some easy things plus drinking tons of water all day long to help your body transition from the winter to the spring without me knowing you personally and sharing some personal cleansing tips to help your body even more. So what is the easiest next thing that you can do for your body this spring with your hormones? 
Is it drinking more water, eating more greens, adding in the parsley, cilantro, the broccoli sprouts? Is it doing some more apple cider vinegar at night? Or is it taking a really close look at what you are already eating and really thinking about what you could have less of that might be causing your body to not feel as good as you want it to feel? Just some thoughts for you to take on as we move forward is really thinking about one thing that you can do today and the rest of the week to help support you and your body more. Maybe it's not even what we're talking about, but maybe it's getting more sleep. Hope this was helpful to answer some of your spring cleansing questions. And if you need any help, just reply to the email that I sent to you and let me know when you would like to chat. Happy spring, and I'll be back soon with another video to help you with your hormones and feeling really amazing in your body. Thank you for joining me. Bye.